I'm Sarah with the Clear to Close team at Loom Depot. Today we have Kali Foster of the Foster team at Revolved Realty. Kali, why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do? Okay, well Sarah, I'm, uh, I am retired military, uh, 20 years. Uh, after retirement, I served for two more years as a corporate chaplain and after uh, two years of doing that, my wife had been begging me to join her in real estate. And so I finally went ahead and got my license and a little over a year ago, I joined her in the, the quest for uh, fame and fortune. <laughs> but no, uh, you know, I, we, I love the real estate and we're doing you know, so well. Yes, you are. I see you guys all over Facebook doing videos in our community and I'm really excited to get to sit down and have a cup of coffee with you today. But first things first, Okay. I have to know, where is your favorite place to get a good cup of coffee? I believe the, my, my favorite that I have found in town is Rocket City Coffee. It's over off of Waltriana uh, near Capshaw uh, there in Madison. Okay. What do you get to drink there? I usually get a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> wow, imagine that. <laughs> Well, very good. Well, I know that um, you and your wife are a team right. at Revolved Realty, and I would love to hear a little bit um, from you about being on a team and the benefits of a potential buyer or seller working with a team and how that works in your business. Okay, well, we actually have a little motto on our uh, uh, business cards that actually comes from scripture where it says two are better than one. I love that. And it, I mean, it goes on, the scripture says two are better than one because you can accomplish more. That's right. And everything. So we do, we use that as our philosophy that we work together. Uh, there's just about every transaction that we work on, we are working together, but at the same time realizing that we both have different personalities. And so we may meet the need of our client I may meet the need better than Lynn or Lynn vice versa, you know, can uh, meets their need because of our personality. We just kind of click a little bit better with folks. And we have found that we, uh, somebody uh, asked Lynn one day, you know, how in the world can you work with your husband every day? And she goes, you know, if you like somebody, you can work with them. That's and true. so I think she likes me. Yeah, yeah, I think she likes you too. And yeah. I know I like y'all. I love getting to see y'all out and about and doing um, videos of homes that are on the market. I think it's really important in today's age to be really present across social media. And you guys are doing a fantastic job at doing that. So tell me, are you seeing a lot of buyers who are not here in person to buy? Like maybe they're buying sight unseen or they're using technology like your iPhone and you're doing video walkthroughs. Are you guys seeing a lot of that in today's market? We are. We actually have an investor that we're working with from California and we are constantly going to various uh, properties. We're doing photo shots, we're doing videos, uh, and then sending them back to that person for them to view. Uh, and so many of the things that they're buying are sight unseen. Okay. Yeah. I figured that we were still sort of seeing that trend in our real estate market here in North Alabama. So do you think there are advantages then to being able to showcase homes that way for those buyers? Like they have somewhat of an edge because you can go through and show them the homes without them having to be present? Um, I see I see both. It's both positive and negative. Okay. Uh, being part of it is the fact that the positive is they can uh, see the home, but at the same time, they're having to also trust our judgment. That's right. And I mean, so there has to be that trust between the agent and the client. And so uh, this person that we're working with, we are slowly building trust and uh, he actually made the comment to me the other day. He said, "We, you and I think alike. Okay. So that made me feel like, okay, we're connecting. And so if I give him some insight into a property, he trusts my judgment. I think that's a good point um, right now for people to remember how important it is to have a professional that you trust to work with. And realtors in our community here in North Alabama, like we have the best. I have been in the industry 18 plus years and gotten to work with just about every realtor 
out there. And I really do think that we have the very best here and being able to have that relationship established with your client makes your job a little bit easier too, doesn't it? It does. It does. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is. I think I was telling you before we started our filming today is that I, I did a video yesterday and within 30 minutes I had people responding, hey, I'm going to refer you to a friend of mine. So social media is the bomb now. It is. Yeah. And you have to be there. You have to have content. You have to do things to put yourself out there to help with your brand and to share your message. And you guys do a really good job at that. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. So if I was in the market to buy or sell right now in North Alabama, is there any advice that you would give me? Oh, well, selling, I think the biggest thing that I've kind of shared with a lot of our uh, viewers, and that is that if you're going to put your heart, uh, house on the market, uh, it, it's very important to have good, good curb appeal. Okay. You've got to keep your yard clean, straight, debris free. If you can put uh, shrubs out to kind okay. of dress up the front, maybe even dress up the, the doors. Uh, you, you'd be surprised how many times you go to a front door and that front door looks terrible. That would be me. <laughs> <laughs> Just go ahead and say it. We know it's me. Okay. I need to pressure wash and do all of those things. I know it. <laughs> yeah, when, when I was creeping on you yes. the other day, I saw your door. <laughs> no, uh, we do see doors who, just a fresh coat of paint yeah. is very important. Uh, you know, also fixing up, you know, if you have scuff marks on the walls in the house, just a little bit of touch up paint and it can go a long ways in making your house more appealing. For a buyer, uh, number one, you've got to be pre-approved. Very important. Yes. Uh, it doesn't matter who you go to. Now, I know Sarah would want you to go to, to Lone Depot. Yes. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter who you go to, but go to a good, reputable lender uh, that will help you maybe even you know, help you in making your credit better right. if you have low credit, but getting that pre-approval before you start looking, because I have, we have run into so many of our clients, they'll call us up and we might take them to one home without a pre-approval and they'll fall in love with that one home and they got, we got to have this, but now they got to spend several days trying to get pre-approved. Well, guess what? Someone's already snatched up that home mm -hmm. in this market. because mm -hmm. So I tell them, you've got to be prepared uh, to make an offer as soon as, as, soon as you like right. a home. Yeah. Well, I think it's important, too, to go through those first steps of getting pre-approved <coughs> so that you know just how much house you can buy, mm -hmm. um, especially with the pace of our market right now. You can't delay those things. You need to know that going in really before you even start looking. Yep. You need to know those things. You do. So. Well, you know, and it's also one of the things that if you do have some credit issues, it may, uh, it's better to find out ahead of time. Agreed. Than to get into the process and all of a sudden everything stops. It's better to find it up front. And it may mean that you need to work on your credit for six months right? to get some things paid off, uh, maybe get some things adjusted on your credit so that you have a better credit rating. Uh, because nowadays, uh, because we're in such a competitive market, uh, lenders are being choosy as well. That's right. Uh, of, of who they select. That's right. Yeah. Okay, well you've given us a lot of really good information today, which I'm not surprised because I know that you are full of good information. So I have a kind of a, a deep dive question for you that's oh, no. not real estate related. Okay. Do you have a hidden talent? Wow. Maybe. You sprung that one on I me. I sure did. Yeah, you did. A hidden talent. Well, you know, I think I'm finding now that maybe my my camera presence, oh. my ability, because I was very uncomfortable in front of the camera uh, for a long time, even though I had no problem standing in front of crowds of a thousand or more right. to talk, but to be in front of that camera and know that it's catching every blemish, <laughs> every uh, you know, Southern slang that I may come up with, it's catching those things. But I, I've got to say this, and I'm going, to, I'm going to throw a plug in there for my broker. Okay, go ahead. Tim Knox taught me, just be yourself. Just be yourself. Don't try to be perfect. 
because a client doesn't want a perfect person. They want someone who is genuine. That's right. Someone who they know makes mistakes and maybe fall flat to your face. They, they know, you know what, he's believable, he's trustworthy, and so I've tried to take that to heart, and I think it's helped me a whole lot in my ability to do videos. I think that's good. I think that's really good, and that comes across when you do your videos. I see that, so I'm proud of you, you. for making the leap and getting in front of the camera and watch your business grow because of that. Yeah. Okay, so one other random question. Oh, no. <laughs> if you could jump on a plane right now and go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Well, I would like to go back to London. Okay. Uh, Lynn and I went to London a couple of years ago. We fell in love with the city. There's a lot we didn't get to see, a lot of the countryside we didn't get to see. So it is my dream that within the next year or so, uh, now that you know, uh, England has lifted all their mandates, Yeah, is to try to uh, fly back to London and, uh, you know, just go see the city and the, the countryside again. Well, I hope that that happens for you and Lynn. I really do. Well, so. you, can I borrow some money? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to have a couple more clear to closes in order to make that happen. Okay. But <laughs> the clear to close team wishes you well. We hope all your listings sell. And may you have many toasts when you hear the words clear to close. I want you to look in the camera and tell people how they can reach you. Okay. So if you need to reach out to Team Foster, you can reach us in uh, several ways. One, you can contact me at 256-656-6441. You can also contact my wife, Lynn, at 256-783-4284. Uh, you could also uh, message us through texting at those same numbers, or you can email us at teamfoster at revolved.com. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with me today and having a cup of coffee. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs>